Hey, this is Mrs. Rodriguez with a lesson video on absolute value. Now, before we get started with problems that have absolute values in them, I want to review how to add integers, add and subtract integers. So let's take a look at the first one. For A, we have negative 6 plus 4. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to look at a number line or draw a number line and find your first number. In this case, it's negative 6. So I find negative 6 on my number line and it's right here. And then it says it wants to add plus 4. So we're adding 4 positives. Now on our number line, you'll notice the positive numbers are on the right hand side. So that means positives go to the right, okay? So the way we calculate negative six plus four is we start at our negative six and then we're gonna add four positives, meaning we're gonna move four times to the right. So I start at my negative six and I go, oops, one, two, three, four, and I end up at negative two. So negative six plus four equals negative two. Let's look at the second example. For the second example, we have a positive three plus a negative eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a new color. So we're gonna start with positive three. So on my number line, positive three is over here. And it wants us to add eight negatives to it. Well, you'll notice on the number line, your negatives are on the left-hand side. So that means negatives go to the left. So I'm going to start at positive 3 and I'm going to add 8 in 8 <laughs> I'm going to add 8 negatives to the left, meaning I'm going to move 8 times to the left. So here we go. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8. And I end up at negative 5. So positive 3 plus 8 negatives meaning plus going to the left eight times equals negative five, okay? Now that we've reviewed how to add and subtract integers, let's go ahead and look at our first problem with absolute value. So solve negative seven plus the absolute value of negative four. All right, there's a couple of things we need to remember. The first thing we need to remember is these bars here mean absolute value, okay? And because it's absolute value, we know that that absolute value of negative four is actually equal to four because absolute value means the distance from the origin, and don't forget zero is our origin, the distance from zero to that number. So in this case, negative four. So if negative four is here, the distance between negative four and zero is gonna be one, two, three, four spaces. And because it's a distance, it's always gonna be positive. Because if you'll remember from the previous video on different types of numbers, um, if I was driving from Auburn, California to Sacramento, California, I wouldn't tell somebody that I have to drive negative 30 miles, right? It wouldn't make sense. Or if I was driving from Auburn to Nevada, I would never, or uh, Reno, Nevada, I would never say I have to drive negative 80 miles. No, you would just say 80 miles, or you would just say I'm driving 30 miles to Sacramento. So distance, it's always positive, okay? Now that we found what the negative four equals, the absolute value of negative four, which is four, now we can go ahead and solve the problem. So let me change colors. Let's do purple again. So that means negative seven plus the absolute value of negative four is actually equal to negative seven plus a positive four negative seven plus a positive four. So we look on our number line and we find our negative seven just like we did before, okay? And we're gonna add four positives. And remember, the positives 
are on the right hand side. So positives move to the right. So I start at negative seven and I'm gonna go four times to the right. So one, two, three, four. And we get negative three as our answer. Another example of a type of problem that you will see is what is the distance between the numbers one and six? So before we were looking at absolute value as the distance from the origin. In this case, we don't have an absolute value, but it's still asking for distance. Let me go ahead and highlight that. It's still asking for distance, okay? So automatically we know let me go ahead and change colors. That distance is always positive. So I know it's gonna be a positive answer. And they wanna know the distance between one, positive one and positive six. So that distance means how many spaces are between the two, how far apart are they? And if I were to count the spaces, it would be one, two, three, four, five spaces apart. So the distance would equal five. Okay, let's look at E, our last and final example. E says, evaluate the following, negative eight plus nine. All right, so, if we don't know what words mean, we're not gonna know how to solve the problem. So let's first take a look at this word evaluate. What do they mean by evaluate? Let me go ahead and choose a new color. Let's choose green. Green just means solve, or I'm sorry, evaluate just means solve. So we're just gonna solve the problem. And this time our problem is the absolute value of negative eight plus nine. Now you'll notice that the negative eight plus nine is in the middle of the absolute value. And when that happens, we have to solve that first. And whatever our answer is, that answer is gonna be in the absolute value, okay? And it will always be positive because it's an absolute value. But first you have to solve the inside. So if we have negative eight plus nine, we gotta find negative eight on our number line and it's a positive nine, so positives, positives, oops, let me try rewriting that. Positives always go to the right, right? If you look on our number line, positives go to the right, negatives go to the left. So if they want us to add nine positives, we're gonna go nine spaces to the right. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we end up at positive one. So the inside equals positive one. So that means this is gonna be the absolute value of one. Okay, we already know that the absolute value means the distance from the origin or the distance from zero and it's always positive. So if I'm looking at this, the distance from zero, here's my zero, here's my positive, oops, here's my zero, here's my positive one, and there's only one space between the two, so the distance equals one, or the absolute value equals one, okay? So as always, um, if you have any questions or need additional help, feel free to come see me during office hours. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.